Quite unusual to the home of the Spirit Courts, Book and I took South Africa and quite lovely. Now, uh, the still pictures and the video make this guy appear a little bit grey. It's actually a, a light or, or a healthy amethyst with a sprinkling of reddishness which would be caused by iron oxides or hematitan stages of oxidation going into Gertha, trapped inside some of the quartz crystals. Matrix is pretty flat, quite unusual too, book and I took. So this would have come out of a certain pocket. Now what we typically have from this deposit, the spirit quartz, is a central quartz crystal surrounded by the smaller ones. And then you'll find a color concentration on the edges of the, the crystal, which basically uh, determines the underlying color of the whole specimen. So you'd have a mild purple to reddishness. Um, it just go in a little bit over here. From a quality point of view, pretty contact free from what I can see in the in the video. Um, let's go in here. Uh, third dimension there, definitely another dimension. And lying flat would be this effect. So it's this almost this cavity which popped open to give almost a partial geode of these uh, uh, I'd say a little bit larger than Druzy spirit quartz crystals all the way from South Africa, from our Mpumalanga region. Lovely uh, forest country, looks very much like the, uh, uh, from what I remember in Germany, the Schwarzwald, 